Jesus, how you doing there? Um, I made a video about a month ago talking about uh, the insanity of uh, banning people's wood-burning stoves that they use for both warmth and cooking their food, one or the other or both. Um, there's a nice lady in uh, Bristol of England. She sent me a letter. I uh, blocked out all her private info and whatnot and posted it up on Facebook. I got her permission to post it. And uh, maybe you could uh, post some uh, comments below on how to help her and also, too, what you think. Um, she sent me the letter and it, it essentially says, you can look at it yourself on my Facebook page, that uh, one of her neighbors snitched on her about her wood-burning stove and uh, they're threatening her with something like a 10,000 pound uh, fine, which is completely ridiculous, and then bringing her up before some sort of BCJ or something, some sort of, something to do with the British court. It's really ridiculous and her exact words were that uh, she's uh, depressed and she doesn't smile at any of her neighbors anymore. She doesn't know who snitched on her. We've uh, become this uh, society of Karens and it's just a bunch of nonsense and as the British say, you know, poppycock. It's just a bunch of poppycock. Um, maybe you could uh, leave her some uh, helpful info on what she can do. Uh, I'd like to uh, help a, a, a British citizen out if possible and I'd also like to learn um, what's possible. Like there's a special filter that could be attached to uh, the wood burning stove such that it doesn't really emit anything. Um, on the broader spectrum of this, it's uh, absolutely disgusting. And I'm not about, you know, turning England or any, you know, Bristol, in her case, where she's in Bristol, England, you know, turning any city in England, you know, like back in the days of where it was, um, when, you know, the, the air was just completely choked and there was like, uh, you know, fecal matter in the streets, as a many, many reported, you know, back in the 1700s and 1800s. And it's never going to happen again. Um, and I'm all about having clean air, but, you know, this ridiculousness of, you know, neighbors snitching on each other and you can't, you know, burn log in your own... And I looked at the street where she lives at. Don't ask me where it is because I'm not going to tell you. And all the homes there have chimneys. Her chimney doesn't look any different than anybody else's chimney. And uh, the letter from the government of Bristol of England is just really, really disgusting. Um, I read it several times. Really, the government doesn't want you to have access to any fuel if they're not taxing the hell out of it. You know why they don't tax? They don't tax wood. Maybe there's some places in the world where they are taxing the hell out of wood. I think some people did tell me that. Um, it's completely reprehensible. I mean, if there ever was a reason to get out of the big city, that's one of them. Um, I'll be damned. I'll be darned that the, the Haiti isn't back before anybody, you know, uh, invades the, the dark woods of Kentucky and, you know, tells me I can't burn, you know, the only thing that actually uh, heats my food and, uh, you know, heats the cabin in the back. Well, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Talk about government overreach. The government wants to stick its nose up to patootie of everybody, especially when it pertains to energy. You know, I, you know, I bet the next thing, like in the next 10 years, like if you have solar panels, the government's going to charge you uh, a tax on the energy you have come. I'd like to see, they have no way of knowing that. And it goes directly to your batteries. How are they going to know it? They'll find like some, if you have, now there's a tax on solar panels because you're not paying the government for, uh, you know, the, the right to collect sunlight that's falling on your house. I could see that happening. Anyway, maybe you could leave a comment on what this uh, uh, nice lady can do for herself and any comments on what these silly, ridiculous laws are on uh, you not being able to burn wood in your own frigging house. Anyway, mosquitoes are biting the heck out of me out here.